Okay, there's a city. I'm going to label it M for Morristown. And then we're 177 miles north is where we're beginning. So I'm going to label this 177. The van travels due west. So it's going this way. The van is traveling at a speed of 31 miles per hour. I determine the rate of change of the distance between Morristown and the van, where the van has been traveling for 71 miles. So this is uh, the rate of change of the distance. We want to know how fast this purple line is changing. So we've got to come up with an equation that involves that purple line, then we can solve. So we want to think about the things that always stay constant, uh, the things that are fluctuating. Right? This purple distance is changing. If you're here, the purple line is going to be smaller than if you were here. Right? So the purple line is changing. This distance is always changing because we're traveling 31 miles an hour west. But this distance, if we're going to make a right angle with north, the north and west directions, this is always 177. So that's enough to make an equation where this is like the, the x distance that we're really interested in. Uh, we could call this y too because this is a different different variable. Okay, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem, an a squared, so not the hypotenuse, plus another side that's not the hypotenuse, equals c squared. Um, determine the rate of change of the distance between the van and the van has been traveling for seven miles. Okay, now if we take a derivative of this with respect to time, you know, all these depend on time. This depends on how long we've been traveling. This depends on how long we've been traveling. Right? How many hours is the unit of time? So if we take a derivative of this with respect to time, then this is going to be 2y, y prime using the chain rule. This is going to be 2x, x prime with the chain rule. Because both of these depend on some variable t, and we don't have an expression for exactly what that variable t is. Um, but we do know a few things. We do know the van is traveling at a speed of 31 miles per hour, so this distance is y prime, I should say, this speed is 31 miles per hour, so y prime is a positive 31. So we got a number we can plug in for the rate of change of the y variable. What else do we have? Uh, they tell us that the van has been traveling for 71 miles. So it started exactly north, it went 70 miles this way. That's our y variable. We're at 71 miles. And then this x variable, I think we could solve that. If this is 71, 71, and if this is a constant 177, then we could use the Pythagorean theorem to find out what x is at this instant. So 71 squared plus 177 squared equals x squared. We solve for x there. You get 177. Oh, that can't be right. I did something wrong because the hypotenuse can't be the same there. Um, let me try that again. 177 squared. And 71 squared, add those together, and then take a square root. Okay, that sounds more right. 190.709, blah, 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 a bunch of decimals. So that's what the particular x value is at that instant. Okay, so let me type all this out. We got 2 times 71 times 31 equals 2 times that x value at that instant. And now we can solve for x prime, the rate of change of x with respect to time. We just have to divide these from both sides. Right now, it's just a little bit of algebra. Um, so when I do that, okay, let's figure out what 2 times that 190 is. We're going to divide that from both sides. So we got 2 times 71 times 31. Divide by that. So I got 11.54. And it says we don't have to worry about the units. Um, but just so we know, this is that's miles per hour. This is miles, and we differentiate with respect to time in terms of hours. So that would be 11.54 miles per hour is how fast that distance is changing.